The Lorraine 42, that is the advent calendar deal of today. This is actually a really nice tank. Um, it's not a tank that is kind of super, super good and OP and stuff like that. Um, but it is a very fun tank to play. The problem is, they've priced it at 9,900 gold. That's expensive. Around about £30. That's around about £30 in the UK. Um, yeah, I... I can't really recommend it for the price, to be honest. The list was 7,000. This is a full, you know, 3,000 gold more than the list. And it's just not... I don't think that this is as good as a list, in all honesty. It's just not. Don't get me wrong, this is quite a fun tank to play. And it is good, but for the price, I don't think it's worth that. The standard pen on the gun is 232 millimeters of pen, and it's decent. Um, you got decent premium pen as well, 263. The shells, they say they go at a thousand. I believe that this thing shoots potatoes because it is very slow, the shell velocity. Um, and it just doesn't feel like a thousand meters a second. That's why even with APCR at 1.2k, it's kind of not even that much faster. So, if you're, if you're looking for a tank that's got really, really nice shell velocity, definitely not this one. Although the HE rounds do go 1,000, although they're only 50 pens, so I wouldn't really recommend you take any. The crew does come from the back chat perfectly, so all three of your crew members will work absolutely fine in this thing. Um, yeah, no real issues there. So, if you put it into comparison, you'll see that... It's actually pretty fast. Goes at 60, 21 power to weight. It's decent for a, a medium tank. You can definitely bomb it around the place um, and get to locations that which you otherwise wouldn't be able to in uh, kind of other medium tanks that are a bit slower, let's say. Um, which is really, really useful considering that you weigh 40 tons as well, so you can actually ram some stuff. Um, but it's super important to have that kind of power to weight and top speed because as you're an autoloader, you can get into locations, hide, wait for it to be reloaded and then pump out the damage and just go back and hide again. So it's super nice to have that. Equipment wise, you do have a few choices. You probably want to have vents, um, but you could always go for a turbo as well, um, just to try and get, you know, even faster, but doesn't really need it necessarily. Like it's already fast enough. Um, I feel like there's other modules or equipments that will actually boost you and help you out even more than a turbo would. So I would definitely recommend vents. Um, and then you definitely want to have V-Stab because this thing's gun handling is not the greatest. Although that it does get 0 0.10 um, for the actual turret traverse, it's then 0 0.20 on everything else. So when you're actually moving the tank and when you're traversing the tank, it goes up to 0 0.20, so it kind of does bloom out quite a bit. And considering that you're going to be on the move quite a bit in this, yeah, you're going to want to have V-Stab. And then for the final equipment slot, you could either choose Optics, which will help you out, or you could choose IRM. It depends if you want the more view range. Be warned that you don't get any field mods that will increase your view range, so you have to keep that in mind. So really, it's probably going to be Optics. Um, if you are running food though, you might be able to, you know, go out with that and then go for IRM if you want to kind of be the true kind of damage dealer uh, and not worry about spotting for yourself or anything like that. But on the whole, I'd probably recommend optics, even with food, because you get a ridiculous amount of view range. And then of course you can put the vents in the correct slot, so then you get bonuses and you go all up to 800, wow, 800 view range. So that you'll go all the way up to 484 meters view range. Now for the field mods, obviously you want to go and have the traverse speed. And then you want to go and get your dispersion down. Um, is it really going to be one of these things again? Okay, you don't want to put your dispersion down because it does absolutely nothing. Unless you're using kind of... I'll show you in a second. Um, and then probably you want to go with the, uh, the camo because you want to try and remain hidden as much as you can. And for the chosen slot, scouting, and then you can go and boost your view range up even more to 490 meters. Now, the reason why I said do not choose this is because if you have a look, this is meant to go down. It doesn't. So it's one of the weird stages of this tank 
You don't want to choose that because then it goes up. Although, yes, you get better dispersion during movement and hold reverse. It, it's not worth it. Because of the fact that we aren't at that stage where it would actually help. If we had bounty here, it would genuinely help. You see that it's at point 0.33. If we now choose it, it goes down to point 0.32. So it depends what equipment you're actually running, whether or not this field mod is actually worth it to choose. So I don't really recommend you buy this because um, it is quite expensive. However, I know a lot of people have been wanting this tank. Um, I wanted this tank when it first uh, came into the game and I got it. I, I'm pretty sure I got it when it first came out because um, it came with this camera and stuff that you can apply. Um, I don't know if it does come with a camera or not, but... Either way, it is a nice tank, it's just stupidly expensive for what it is. And I don't know why they've priced it this high. Um, so it's not really worth it. Like, think of it like this. 700 gold more, 7032. What? Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another advent calendar. And hopefully it's a little bit of a better deal.